All right, hey y'all, we're gonna do some Cajun hash today. This is Cook Along with April. Um, my name is Tony, this is April. I imagine you know that if you figured out how to get on here. Um, yeah, so April's gonna cook some um, Cajun hash. I am doing this sober today, so y'all pray for me because I'm absolutely terrified speaking in front of people. I don't know why she acts like she don't know y'all. I'm, I'm on antibiotics, so I cannot drink. So you got the cooties. Drinking water. Uh, everybody on YouTube, you can tap in via the comments. Uh, if you're using a phone, I think you have to have the app and create your own channel to leave comments. But let us know who's here and who's drinking on the Zoom. And we have Dr. J going to cook along with us today. She is repping her uh, piece. This Virginia oh. Tap. <laughs> Right. We haven't, you know, uh, our conference hasn't started football yet, but a couple months. All right. Y'all think spring, right? Huh? huh? Playing in the spring? We got, I think they said November. Yeah. Be weird. Uh, what's up, Kenny? Kenny is Hi, boo-boo. In, the, in the YouTube. That's my boo-boo, Kenny. All right, y'all, so the potatoes I'm using are the regular Schmegler old rusted potatoes. Um, if you have large potatoes, I would say four would do it. If you have the little itty bitty ones like me, I would say six. So I'm just gonna start peeling. Tip, don't peel your potatoes in the sink because it's hella annoying. Also, I just don't get, peel my face with that. Watch out, I'm just saying. Get like a regular bag and just peel it right over the damn bag. I, this has been my chore since I was like five years old. My mama had me peeling potatoes. Just save yourself a headache. Don't do it over the sink. Just do it right over the bag. Well, this is only two points. This thing. Oh, also, <coughs> up my mixing bowl. Um, I would suggest getting a big bowl and fill it halfway with water. So while you're peeling the other potatoes, you're dumping a potato in here, it's gonna rinse off some of the, um, what's on here? You don't know. It's gonna rinse them off See, while she we do, wait I don't for know shit, the other it's ones to peel. I don't know, y'all heard that right. So she don't, you don't. I don't know why I asked her. No more questions, I don't know nothing. You heard it here first. I don't know why I asked her, y'all, but. <laughs> Can you put this one up for me? No. So please. Just fucking read. Pretty please. Close up in here. Besides the homie Kenny. Looks like that one of one of the first ones you do. That's why I'm stuck in my head. How small are we cutting these potatoes? Huh? How small? How are we cutting little potatoes? That was my next thing. If you're like me and impatient and greedy. I cut mine hella small because it's going to cut down on the cooking time. The bigger uh, you cut them, the longer it's going to take to cook. And I try to cut my potatoes the same size as I cut the bell peppers and onions so everything cooks together. If you team greedy, I'm the captain. I cut my shit hella small because I be trying to eat. So April over here making minced potatoes. Oh, pretty what, much. What's, okay. up, Virgi what's up, Virginia? Hi, Glad Virginia. to have you. I see it. And y'all, Tony bought me um, an iron skillet because we left our other ones when we sold our house. We sold the kitchen as is with all of my stuff. You bought that. And I'm so happy. I didn't buy that. You bought that. This your money from this Patreon. You doing the work. We share money. <laughs> and it's one that I've never had before. Like everyone has the regular skillet. It's the one with like the top where it can be like a Dutch oven. I'm so excited. Where are these? I just baked it this uh, morning, so it should be done. Yeah, put a little oil on it, and then you bake it in the oven for about an hour upside down. It's gonna be so fun. I'm so excited. I will stick to beer and maybe a little bit of baking and not the skillet. It's the best thing, y'all. Y'all don't have um, iron cookware, it's the best investment. I would say the second best investment would be a Dutch, a nice Dutch oven. 
Because those things you can cook on the stove, top, oven, they just, and they last forever if you take care of them. Oh, uh, shit. So T. Doc got the set. Yeah. I had to. My grandmother gave me a set of that shit when I went to college. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? I don't even have a stove. <laughs> my last she didn't get what the door room was gonna be like was my house. and I promise you it, it, we broke the handle off that thing when I was like 12 and I was using it up until I was like 25 like oh, that's so you how still old use that it was. without it yes you can't throw away good cast iron now this machine that you have doing the potatoes the peeler that, I'm fancy. we ain't had that when I was growing up you get a knife I didn't either you get a knife this is so fancy <laughs> Well, nobody, nobody I don't know why my mama that. and aunties trusted a five-year-old, but I was peeling at five and six, y'all. With that? No, you're nice. That's what I'm saying. I mean, well, you were obviously properly trained. You still got all your fingers and shit. You can feel it. So you were trained correctly to you do it properly. Put to work in my house. You trust <laughs> people who, you know, you have trained and they show a level of competency to do things. You obviously did. I they made your ass there. keep doing I had the shitty <laughs> peeling potatoes and cleaning chitlins. They always gave me the bullshit. Well, everyone does that. My granny does that to cleaning my mom and my and aunties shit. now. When they come in the kitchen try to oh. help her, their ass is chopping. She sends them to the table to chop. They don't get to cook nothing. Chitlin really <laughs> is disgusting. Then they want to say, you want some? Hell no, I don't want some. I cleaned it. I know it was in here. <laughs> oh, none of that. I mean, well, we won't go into the history of why black people eat those. <laughs> yeah, but I can't fuck with chitlin. It was it was not a choice always. Let me do one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna do one more. Cause we hungry. Virginia said I am hungry. Virginia said she made leftover hash this morning. Yeah, yeah. Leftover beef, goulash, meat, and French fries. Ooh, that sounds and good. Pope and the Popeyes French fries that you like. That sounds good. Popeyes has okay. So bullshit. <laughs> Cause I'm a French fryologist as well. Yeah. And I feel like Popeyes and Five Guys have the best fucking fries to me personally. If you talk about chains, you still, you know, you you like to poo poo on my hometown of Memphis, Tennessee, and you have not been to Dixie Queen. And that's the best I French haven't. fries. I don't, don't know poo poo about on that. Memphis. Tony just didn't take my greedy ass to the spots. No, so you that's all on her. She was like, "Oh, this hotel sucks. This that sucks. hotel is fucking sucks. horrible. Everything in hotel. Memphis sucks." <laughs> I hate that fucking hotel for the passion. But. Leave it to LA to come be Hollywood somewhere. You know this? You y'all know I'm bougie ghetto, so that shouldn't be surprised. Yeah, mama told me that when I went over there to tell her I was going to propose. She was like, you know, she's high maintenance, right? Like, hey, every you won't be returning this. <laughs> my own. and then at the wedding, my dad was like, no return to cinder. See how my people do. But she was like, you know, she's high maintenance. I, we had a twenty-minute conversation about how maintenance, how high maintenance she tried to was. Warn your ass. You don't listen. Even your cousin, Kamori, uh, she was like, um, they was all saying, "Don't do it, don't do it." Like you, you know, you ain't got to get married. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to do this. All right, y'all. So I got my potatoes in a bowl. Um, Doctor Jax, a good question as far as how you cut them. So I'm going to show y'all how I do mine. My mom likes hers um, bigger, chunky, but yeah, I'll be ready to eat. My mom is very patient. I'm not. I didn't get that from her. Let me show y'all. You got a good view, Dr. J? Yeah, I can see. Okay. So the key is to cooking hash brown. Well, my hash brown is you want to try to stay um, consistent with your potatoes and your veggies. You want them all to kind of be around the same size so they cook evenly. So, we're, yeah, for your hash browns, that's what we're making. Yeah, is your hash brown. So first, I do the spears about that thick. Uh -huh. A little circle, the little circles, and then we're gonna cut them in teeny itty bitty pieces. <laughs> but that and sounds good, Virginia. And I also like Burger King French fries. I know it's an unpopular like opinion. I like Burger King's French fries better than McDonald's. I also have not eaten McDonald's in about eight years. I used years, to love so McDonald's fries. I haven't eaten them in a very but long Five time. Guys and um, Popeyes, that's where it's at for fries. Five, Popeyes, or, uh, five Guys is dope. They, they Cajun fries, y'all. I'm not really a huge burger person, but I used to 
you had to come up off some French fries. Yeah, Tony's not a burger. You don't like beef that much, that's why. I feel like. Well, when I when I had to slim down from super, you know, heart palpitations, chunky monkey, I you had to it's cut down on some of that stuff. I can't stand any ice cream. All right, that's it. So much, I feel so much better mm -hmm. um, that I now that I'm taking a really big break from animal products. Yeah, I mean, a lot of life changes make you feel better. It's a sacrifice, but you gotta wait out. And what did, what is it that you want? You know, yeah. quality of life. Who you gotta um, stay around for? I kind of feel like when I do indulge, I'll really, really enjoy it. Right? Um, I'm sure you will. Like I'm not. If it doesn't make you sick. I'm not yeah. trying to save animals or anything. I'll still eat the fuck out of cow. I just. <laughs> Me and my little brother tried to do the whole little vegetarian thing, and I lasted two days. I'm shocked that he did a whole two days. I'm shocked he did that. I will say, Morningstar. Uh, I think it's like called meat substitution. I don't know what the proper term is. The Morningstars, like little fake meat. Mm -hmm. They bought. Oh, let me show you guys. So. So I'm extra. Lord, she's so <laughs> extra. Anyway, this is the consistency, y'all. Like the little, try to get one up for y'all. Yeah, I love that. Little rectangle. You saw it, Dr. J? I saw it. She okay. can see the. the oh, okay, cool. Um, my mom likes big chunks. Again, she's like very southern, so she cooks long for long periods of time. I'm like lightweight southern. I I want to eat. I think this might be an engineering project. Can you uh, grate potatoes like you do cheese and get the string yes, hash browns? Oh, yes, oh God, no. it's not an engineering product. I guess we have solved that problem part. You definitely can. It takes some muscle, and it's very labor intensive, but you can definitely do that. You can learn something. Uh, Virginia says Burger King is trash. <laughs> Phoebe says uh, he usually yeah, chops. Yeah, you like a big You have to, like, um, like squeeze the water out of it. Yeah, you have to squeeze the liquid. It oh. just gets too complicated. All right, you will pop the book out of yourself when you go to fry them. Well, yeah, I mean, that, and your water is the oil. The oil is hydrophobic, so the water is going to try to escape however it can. Look at you Bill Nye, the science guy over here. I'm sticking to what I know, and you can talk about what you know. Virginia, Burger King <laughs> is trash. I did used to fuck with Burger King's um, nuggets back in the day. You know the uh, the chicken fries are kind are of, like the chicken yeah, tenders were back in the day. I if I go there, I get the chicken fries. And I don't know what brand they use, but Burger King's um, barbecue sauce is undefeated. Okay, it's undefeated. Mm -hmm. I will go there just to get the goddamn yeah. condiment. Yeah, I I fuck with their barbecue sauce. I'm not Team Sweet Baby Ray's. That shit is disgusting. Thank you. So Kenny says he usually chops up an apple in his hash leftover pork. Really? Pork is his favorite hash. That sounds good. I would fuck with that. <laughs> Not good. We have that. a we have a listed. Uh, I would. You know what? <laughs> an interesting I like, face from Dr. J with that. I'm talking about that like raisins and the potato salad type. The apple part or the pork, the leftover yeah. pork. <laughs> but you know, I used to live in Germany when I was little, and they use a lot of Granny Smith apples. So like when they would have brats, they would like shred it. It would uh -huh. it would be good. I'm a little expert. Yeah. Well, apple and friend. brats were go to yeah. yeah. I don't think a regular apple. Can you? What kind of apple was it? Yeah, I would fuck with Granny Smith. I think, I think that makes a difference. Yeah, like I want Granny with a Smith Fiji is a, apple. a bit tart. Yeah. Yeah. When we talking about potatoes. Like some just regular old red, red apple. apple. Yeah, it seems like it make more sense to. It. I Kenny, think Kenny will let us know what types of apple. I think Granny Smith, that sounds good. Granny Smith, I would fuck with that. Look at Kenny with the exotic shit. Oh, did anybody watch the tasting it was in last week? Bro? I got a lot of April uh, disrespected. I don't girls. care. It tastes like potpourri, and I'm going to tell y'all the truth. April I disrespected like Allagash White. I know that's like Talked about their mama and everything. Um, that shit tastes like <laughs> potpourri, <laughs> grass with a splash of lemon. I could bottle that shit if y'all like that. <laughs> it smells like right. grape. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, now, it's supposed to be there, though. Like, <laughs> if y'all are interested, I can go outside, bottle it up, and send it to y'all for the very low price of nineteen ninety nine. Let me know in the comments. 
she also that shit is nasty. She also disrespected a West Mall triple. Is that the monk? Shit? Yeah, that is the monk. Yeah, the monks was tripping. I don't have no problems with monks, but y'all. Yeah, like, yeah, shit up. Wait, she she fucked shit up in these tasting. I like to say something to say something wrong. Like that's why we have triple triple West Mall. That's what I was trying to tell her. <laughs> like that's the what? She, I like Trapel. That's the that's From they're the making trying to do what but West like, Mall was doing. That's that's the quintessential like triple. Trapel. That's who popularized the style. And plus, New Belgium got the bougie name, so. Trip it's out. not no, they misspelled some shit. Trip and, out. and it just ended up on the label because now it's like that. Trip out. Yeah, but I wasn't fucking with the monk shit. Nobody pronounced no disrespect it to monks. <laughs> I fuck with monks. I just don't think that's your calling with the beer. And April tried the same beers that she paired with that catfish poke. Oh, she's so excited and, to say this to y'all. And acted like she didn't wait and all what they were. This. No, I have not, but she was like, I don't know about this. She had a duval. And I'm like, that one was skunky. It, it smelled was not skunky. It, it smelled different. <laughs> no. But that she remember she liked that better than um than the Saison. She paired it with her catfish po boy. Now then she almost she acted like she only liked it a little bit. It's all right. It's all right. That but, Saison um, was heavenly though. I like that Saison. And it was by the same people. They were the potpourri people, wasn't it? Say something was by Allegash. And that's the say something we had. That's the sure. potpourri yeah. folk. That's their name now. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Fucking lavender beer. That's what the fuck it tastes like. Some goddamn lavender. You don't like anything floral. I've noticed that about you. That shit is gross. Uh, I was supposed to say, is it the floral? Like floral? She doesn't. Because she hates like- shit with hibiscus. She doesn't yeah. like pivo. Okay. Like, what she- about noble hops? Do you like? Like German beers, we're gonna try that out next month's tasting because April says, Oh, we can pair this with lager, and I I try to explain that that can mean a a whole lot of different things. Y'all know I'm dense, (laughs) no, you are not dense. We we know different when it comes to beer, I'm dense. You're just just new to beer, we'll call it that. But um, but uh, April doesn't like people. Oh, uh, I didn't know Jim. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jim. I didn't know you were on here. I wasn't trying to start. (laughs) That elicited a comment from June. <laughs> I got all my booze here. But today. she used to work for Firestone Walker, which is who no. makes people. That's why I don't, I don't like them. Well, we I remember when we went with Gavin after you picked me up for the airport yeah. to have run. He took us to brunch right. and that, that beer that I had. You oh, yeah, I didn't like that shit. It like dip, uh, dish soap. That shit was nasty. <laughs> you need to talk to y'all folks. Nah, she don't work there no oh, more. But okay. that's a top five beer for me. When I was little, my grandma um was born in Mississippi, but she was raised in Shreveport, Louisiana. So y'all know I cuss. I got my mouth washed out probably once a week. So that's what it reminded me of. Flashbacks. That shit was gross. Yeah, but next month's tasting, we'll probably have a couple special guests. Y'all stay tuned. We will. Oh, I'm excited. Um, in that in the tasting, uh, the styles in April. Uh, Talking shit. I don't. Okay, but we're gonna. Can I see no, the hand up? You know, you interrupt no me more. every time I start. You are talking. married to me. You should know this. No, it don't <laughs> stop because we got company. No, I mean it should. It should stop anyway, company or otherwise. Sure. But we're going to do some German <laughs> beer after we provide loving. Um, she stays trying to block my shot. Loving, loving a uh, beer household, I guess. But we're gonna do German styles. Uh, we're gonna do. German pills. We're going to do uh, and and the, the ones from over the imports, so she doesn't have to talk about nobody's mom on here. That's what I was gonna say. I don't I like. mean to be mean, <laughs> and I don't mean if like people that's like we, that though. That's why we don't try to do beer from people we know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to be an asshole. I'm just being honest. If I don't like something, I'm gonna tell you I don't like it. Even if you, I have a lot of friends that are brewers. I tell them like this is trash. Like I tell them to their face. I mean, but well, I don't think anybody is. I, mean, I don't go on there to be like, I'm going to talk about, you know, I don't Well, do you that. also don't ever know what we're going to drink. True. <laughs> That's why I don't let you. I don't want y'all to think I'm on there like, I'm about to talk about stuff. I'm not, I don't do that. I don't think anyone thinks that. I think everybody knows you are unabashedly unfiltered and that's just, that's the end of it. I think people know that. My friends you. have to have a thick skin. But they're like that with me too. Like my friends are brutally honest. Friends Look who I'm married to. 
brutally honest. Yeah, and y'all think I'll be honest. Brutally but honest. Yes. I'm thinking uh, Czech pills, German pills, um, Hellas, and then maybe yeah. we'll probably slide in an Oktoberfest in honor of the season. Just say, like, like drink a, a month or something? Yeah, we'll, we'll have one of those, depending on what they have and as far as imports that are available. And also, I get stuck on beer. Like, when I first started beer, I was stuck on stouts. Then I was uh -huh. stuck on... I stuck on something before I say something. It was some Trippel. I was stuck on that. And Abby. You just said you didn't like that. The real Abby one. and Trippel, <laughs> I was stuck on. Yeah. So um, now I'm stuck on Sison. So I'm weird. You like, that. like fruited Saisons a lot. Fruited Saisons. Wow. Okay. Cody. I don't know how Team Saison feels about that. Cody. I was about to say Cody. About the Cody. Yeah, and, his uh, Team Saison. So <laughs> he made it. Was the apricot? Cody's was an oh apricot saison, and Isaac's was a pomegranate saison. Both of those. One and two in my book. I, I could drink that shit like water. They were so good. Yeah, they weren't overly like, sweet. You like juice. She was <laughs> this shit was fun. Okay, I'm almost done, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm talking too much. You think they stood here and want to stand here in silence? My fault. My fault. <laughs> I got one more potato, one and a half more potatoes. Then we're gonna bust out my new cast iron. I'm so excited. <laughs> you know what's funny? I always ask for like kitchen shit and appliances for Christmas and my birthday, and Tony's always scared to buy them for me. Because to a lot of people, that's offensive. I know better now, but you know, when we first started dating and, and living together and stuff, I. Yeah, here's a pot or a pan. Go in the kitchen and I'm use like it. I like that. <laughs> Y'all, I will go in Sonoma. Oh, what you get? One of the um, 21st anniversary. Oh, 21st anniversary. It's a spice saison. Oh, Ooh. April would love that. That's yeah, nice. it's spice with um, cinnamon, ginger, and lemon peel. You know, April I love April ginger. Would drink that you know, I love entire cinnamon. bottle. That sounds bomb. April would drink that entire. Who is that? Not. It's um, the 21st anniversary of the Omega Gang put out. Oh, okay. That's what's up. I love ginger. I love some. Docs got some heavy artillery over here. But y'all, I will go in. Um, <laughs> I will go in Sonoma Williams and lose my fucking mind. Like that's the type of cookware. Y'all. We should have did that for uh, our registry for our wedding. I'm mad I didn't do that shit. Yeah, I got a, I got a game from GameStop. Some product demo, give you some free stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's so pretty. They be having all the colors and shit. I'm I'm goofy like that. You know who used to work at Williams Sonoma? Who? Jay, cousin Jay. In Memphis? Yeah, my, my cousin Jay. Yeah. I would have used, used his to. Discount he so used to work much. there at Williams Sonoma. He's kind of family. It's family. It is. It's facing the other way. Whew. Turn yes. Okay, y'all. So this is my last. Chop, chop. And I'm going to show y'all how much I got. And then we're going to bust out the heavy art to the arena and show off my cast. And we're going to get started. Okay. Now that there's a break in here, Kenny, for his uh, hash, told us like half an hour ago that he uses Granny Smith or yeah. Red Delicious Apples. Has a little sweetness to, them, to balance the savory. I German don't know. cooking has a lot of uh, Granny Smith, or the Germans that cook for me have a lot of Granny Smith. But it's hash, a German thing? It wasn't even just hash. Like, they have this stuff, but this, this is what uh, we're talking about is hash. It's like purple cabbage sauerkraut. It wasn't sauerkraut. Uh -huh. It's like a side, a German side. It's like um, apples and cabbage, purple cabbage. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but that shit is bomb. Yeah. But, have you said that? Huh? Oh, April's describing some German side dishes. April's describing some German. Oh, what is it called? You know. But well, yeah. they use a lot of purple cabbage too. Oh, yeah. it's just that. Okay. Uh, Kenny says that's German good. coleslaw. That's yeah. That's what he calls it. I don't know. But that shit is bad. I don't know if, like, for the potatoes, I don't know if I would do the the I Granny Smith apple. I would I would probably I take would. the red apple. I would I do Granny Smith. I'm not co-signing that one. <laughs> I'm co-signing. I'm going to try both. 
That shit sound good. You putting that in there right now? No, we don't got a green tea. Oh, we only have red apples. You gonna get us in trouble? All right, they gonna talk about us for putting this in. The- so this is the size she got me for cast iron. Woo! Cause you being so extra. I'm it's a little extra. deeper than the regular. I love it. Uh, and then it has a top that you can either do a frying pan or it fits on top so I can do like Dutch oven style. You cook so much, y'all. This guy done baking it. So I am not drinking, but what are y'all drinking over here in YouTube land? I mean, what you got, Dr. J? You got some wine? Yeah. I'm drinking my wife's wine. Oh, she's drinking her wife's wine. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and hit it. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Black, Black Girl Magic. Magic. Black Girl Magic Rose. Where do you get that, that from? Who is that? Where do they do that at? <laughs> There's um these two black women. One is from California, and the other is from New Zealand. Oh wow! And they started uh, called Nick Bride Sisters. Um, so this is their this is their. It's like really dry. It's a really dry rosé. It's not very sweet at all. It's good. I would drink that. Okay, so as far as um the coating, I am team butter. However, you can use a good vegetable or canola oil. I just think that butter tastes better than oil, so I use butter. And if you're doing cast iron, per, per my mom, start on low. Always. She didn't explain to me why. We just gonna listen to her. Always start on low. On low? She said start on low. I don't know why. She said, but if I do my cast iron, no matter what you cook, always start it on low. She never explains to me why she does shit, so I'm sorry. I can't tell you why, but I'm gonna listen to my mama's. Uh, Kenny sent us a wink face that it says he's drinking his IPA that a, a keg of it fell off the truck and wink, a wink face. I'm so excited. We, we, we gotta probably meet somewhere or split the distance and meet Kenny the next time we go to Memphis because he's in Arkansas. Yeah, Kenny is the homie. Okay, y'all, so as far as um... Do I have my onions over there? We're going to do an onion, half an onion. I use half an onion, and my preferred choice is always the sweet onion, or you can use a yellow onion. I just think sweet onions taste better. I'm going to use half of a green bell pepper and probably, because I have my mini peppers too, probably too many red and too many yellow. Um, but you can just use one. I just like my food to be colorful, but definitely use the green. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Sorry. I think John's probably going to join us. John from New Jersey. He says, oh, this tweet reminds him that he's late for the hash. So maybe this is him, our sixth member. Don, are you in the audience? <laughs> I think I should measure the butter for y'all. I just put butter. Okay. I'm starting out with two tablespoons. We'll see if I add more. So, let me move these over here. And isn't it crazy, y'all? When my mom used to make this for me, I thought this was like my mama's thing. I just thought my mom, well, I still do think she's like the best cook. And then I went to a restaurant and saw something very similar and I got kind of got offended like they ripped off my mama's idea. Who is this? But it's the whole thing in Louisiana. What? What? Who ripped your mom's off? I went to a restaurant and saw, they didn't call it Cajun hash, but they called it something else hash. Something stupid like urban hash. Something urban. disrespectful. Urban, wow. Um, <laughs> But, like, I ordered it just to see if it was like my mom's. Lord. Yeah, something stupid. Um, and the only difference was they didn't put onions in it. But this is actually, like, the cheapest meal or one of the cheapest meals. And you got to turn that over. Those seeds give me goosebumps. It's so, so silly. Much. 
<laughs> but like, it's just funny to me how like the cheapest meals, like restaurants now are like, well, it is cuisine, but y'all know what I'm trying to say? Like po' boys originally in Louisiana were for poor people. That's where the name comes from. Po'boys. I mean, but that that's a larger issue that you're also bringing. Just like with the chitlins, people are resourceful and make these yep. things. And then, it, you know, people are gentrifying the, the, the cuisine now. Yep. Gentrifying the fucking food now, yeah. and now and it, now it's now, now it's cuisine because some asshole. Is also, did y'all know? <laughs> also in Louisiana, uh, crawdads, um, shrimp, crab, lobster—that was all considered poor people food. Yeah, you can just grab them off the beach. Yeah, there's this great story that they used to um, they used to feed the inmates at one of the big New York prisons lost her because it was like considered like trash food. Yeah. Yeah. It's so crazy to me. They ain't lock me up in there. I'll eat the lobster. Okay. <laughs> but that's just funny to me. I don't know. And then people, um, there's more to soul food than, than, than macaroni and cheese and you know, shrimp and grits and uh, I, I was chicken and waffles. I will say the Cajun part is a subset of that. Yeah, it's, it's regional. Not saying I don't love all those dishes. I just that's why I can't wait to do a cookbook for y'all so y'all can just experience yeah. more of soul food. There's a lot more to it than that. And we are so resourceful because we were getting given the worst cuts of meat and all kinds of shit. And we See, think. that's why I shouldn't do these. We so meat. I'm on here talking about gentrification and shit. <laughs> In the middle of a cook, April's cooking show. So yeah, but just a little history. I just find it funny how you know they shit it on us, but now it's cuisine. And I mean, you, people, people want the culture without the people. Yeah, you know? that ain't gonna happen because my black ass don't pop. Anyway, right. first. So this this is the consistency of the um. Bell peppers, and again, like kind of the same consistency as the potatoes. That way, everything cooks relatively easy or evenly. Sorry, those bell peppers, these fat ones. My mom, you know, would have the grocery bags in the back, and we would be on our way home. My brother would get that and bite into it like it was a fucking apple or some shit. Apple oh, is fuck. I thought that was disgusting. The seeds were all falling out and shit on them. Like, what are you doing? Ew. <laughs> Alex is cold. Like, he didn't even go in the bag to try to find the fucking snacks and, and junk food and shit. He's eating a, a it was bell healthy. pepper. He was like six years old. It was healthy. He used to eat whole celery stalks. I'm like, what is wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> Have y'all seen that? Um, I think he's viral. That little baby that just, I guess the granny tries to cook with him and he be going ham for whatever's in the bowl and shit. Oh, see, like, this. she letting him eat raw eggs and shit. She that letting him know. <laughs> Now, there's a little kid that gets on there and he's she's so supposed to be helping cooking, but he's sticking his hand he in goes, he's, Damn. he's putting like raw eggs and shit in his mouth. And I'm like, no, 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 you can't let him do that. You know he's going to do that. You can't. So I sent that one of the clips to my mom and my auntie. They had a whole 30 minute discussion about how they're not feeding the baby. <laughs> That's why he's hungry. Oh, the oh, that he said she's saying his folks yeah. don't feed him. Don't That's why he's the trying baby. to eat That's the raw why he's hungry. Oh, I, don't his know, right? I mean, you gotta have boundaries because that stuff can hurt in a kitchen. Yeah. And you know, yeah. southern southern women yeah. throw shade when they say "bless her heart." That's what they were saying about Grant. No, but they'll say, "I don't know." That's, like, that's if that, that was us, uh, one we would have never done it. We knew better by you know the time you can walk or sit. I kill my child. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my I don't know. My my I knew better than to do that. The women in my life knew, you know. And if you just can't follow instructions, they tell you to get out. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Go, <laughs> go in the back. Go in the back. You don't you get an explanation. Get out. Yeah. We not. They're not going to let you eat raw eggs and touch the stove and shit. And then be like, see, that's an ouch. No. <laughs> Y'all, I'm in my 30s, and I just got assigned a real dish in the last three years. Okay? Which which one is considered the... Remember, I made yams. I made the candy yams. Normally, and when we have, because my mom is like, a, she's crazy in the kitchen, like, don't go, even go in, don't pass the kitchen, okay, when she's cooking. So normally, I'd be like, oh, mom, I can help you, I can help. And she'll be like, you know, something hella rude, like, bring the silverware, or baby, yeah. why don't you go, why don't you and Tony go to Cheesecake Factory and bring us, some, like, 
shit what? like that. That's disrespectful though, because Auntie Raleen do, does the desserts. True. Uh, I had to press the napkin. You had yeah. to what? You, oh, the pay a cloth napkins. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you iron the napkins. <laughs> I be so, I be like, mama, even now, when she sees these, she'll be like, oh, you did good. You know how to cook Oh, now. she watches every one of these and critiques now. Those things. Oh, I see Raleen call and she, you know, she, yes. she's, she's always in good spirits. That's she's what like, y'all just got a beautiful show, babe. Be a beautiful show. And thank you. Oh. Y'all got a good brand. Y'all just keep creating that's stuff. So and that's Tony, you, just, you need to go on base or something. <laughs> and thank you for shouting me out on the on the YouTube, it's just, just beautiful. Auntie Roro is a good job. I'm proud of y'all. <laughs> she's the only baker in our family because she's the only one that measures. And I don't even think she measures shit, to be honest, when she I watch her. <laughs> she's the only one that bakes. So I was telling her that now Tony is coming forward because Tony's trying to get up in here bake. Why you gotta split me and her auntie up? I love Auntie Roro. my favorite. I must treat you. I mean, it, it, you have to be a, I don't know, truly gifted to be mad to, to baking shit and not measuring yeah. To me, that's she a bit, doesn't, so, that's almost some savant type shit. It's crazy because like none of the women in my family, I promise you, can sit in the kitchen. No one measures. They don't measure shit. shit. And she bakes coffee cakes. She bakes um socket to me cakes. Oh, Monkey speaking bread, of coffee cake, that. I got to text Auntie Roro uh, celebrate your birthday. My birthday coming, and I'm gonna need me a coffee cake. But it's, it's crazy to me how like it. she just throws shit together, y'all, and it comes out perfect it's each and every time. Yeah. She's like a damn wizard or some shit. I don't know. All right, y'all. So I just checked and my butter eels melted. So I'm going to go ahead and put... Oh, another thing. I always cook my potatoes probably a good five minutes and I'll season them. And then I'll hit the vegetables because obviously these are going to cook faster. If that makes sense to y'all. Auntie Raleigh, you know, never... Never right. call nobody. Let's start low. We start low, going high. I'm starting low. I turned it off for a hot second, but I'm going back to low. You starting low, and Dr. J is asking what happens after that. Are you gonna turn oh, it off periodically? I, yes, per my mommy. After you um, let them cook for about five minutes and you season them, and uh -huh. then once we hit them with the veggies, then we turn it up. Okay. Archibald, what's up, my guy? Arch says, sorry, he's running late. He's running errands. He hadn't been able to watch. It's okay. We appreciate you being here. We appreciate you tapping in. No need to apologize. It's better when we don't talk to ourselves. Hmm. But yeah, just, sorry, just hit, up, clean as I go. hit up Auntie Raleen to see what's good with this coffee cake for for my birthday. Libra game. Okay, it was covered or not? Huh? Are your potatoes covered? Mm -mm. I don't cover mine. Covered with what? It's like a lid or something. Oh, oh, I, that, let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> so once they in there, y'all. Libra I'm go ahead and them. Oh, I'm about to text you, Arch. Can you open this? I'll show this. So for seasoning. Listen, I am not to the child. You are your assistant. No. Why are you always acting up like I don't ask you to do stuff every time you get on here? Can you open this? Hey. Anywho, just I'm doing it. some garlic powder. Garlic salt works too. I just don't, I don't like a lot of salt. Oh, this has never been opened. No, it's brand new. So yeah, I'm doing garlic powder. I'm be doing Cajun seasoning. And we're doing some black pepper. And depending on how the seasoning look, I might throw in a little bit of this dash, but I don't know yet. But things gotta look right, so we'll see. Well, I don't think this was a perforator. Appropriately. Is that your engineer speaking? Not really. We're gonna do that. And then after our seasoning, let them sit for a couple of minutes. We're gonna um, slice up the sausage. And Jay has also. Okay, we'll go with Archibald. So Arch is watching me struggle. <laughs> yeah, his idea was effective. I don't know how I'm gonna get this shit out of here. With the plastic part. I don't, I don't want to go down in this anyway. Thank you, Archibald. Arch and Jay come. Hey, Mama. Stay coming. Oh, Dr. Jay's mom's on the phone. Hey. 
I'm sorry, and I'm actually literally in the middle of like a Zoom right now. Uh, it's okay. I think I'm in the grand errands and then pass. And then I'll look up and start again. We're going to be a little bit quiet, Dr. J, on the phone with her mom. Can disrespect mama. Okay. Yeah, I got five. Oh, and Jay says he was making hot sauce. I would be interested to understand a bit more about that process, Jason. How come you haven't sent me a damn uh, thing of hot sauce? You make hot sauce? I don't, he said he drove Layla out of the living room, so we don't know what he's doing. Oh. <laughs> Why you drive sis out the living room? What it, I mean, it's probably the smell, whatever, however he's doing oh. it. <laughs> don't mess up your happy home. Acting up. It's lacto fermented hot sauce. Uh huh. <laughs> what is what? Oh, wow. Well, Virginia also says she made lacto fermented hot sauce this morning. So Virginia's just making everything using, in the world. Yeah, and y'all using fancy words and shit. I don't know what that fermented shit means. Lact to lac lacto as in lactose, like milk and dairy products. Um, ferment means you're gonna, there's an anaerobic process, you're gonna create That's carbon too much. dioxide and alcohol. There's too much science and shit going on over there. So, yeah, yeah lactobacillus, I guess, is doing the fermentation. So. so, we just went ahead and put in the um. Potatoes stirred up yeah. so the butter gets mm -hmm. coated on all the potatoes and hit it with some seasoning. I'm pretty sure I could find somebody who might be interested. And then I want to show y'all the vegetables. What happened? Yeah, so lactobacillus. If they're using vegetables. lactobacillus, then that's where the lactose comes from. Uh, Jay says he was chopping peppers and the spiciness affected her in the living room. Oh, I see. He forgot Look, to open Virginia. up. A window. Yeah. Virginia bought me these guys. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, Go shopping. So now I'm gonna do the onion. Oh, sorry, my head is actually just my head. I'm heavy on onions, so I use half onion. Uh, if you don't like onions like that, I would use a third. Math person. What? What? It, what's the question? I said if they don't like onions, they should use a third. I use a half. Yes, one third is less than a half. Boom. I'll be doing math and shit, yo. Um, okay. Well, I will. Lactobacillus is just naturally yeah. present, I guess, in the peppers. Right. I don't know anything about peppers. And my yeah. microbiology is uh, uh, pretty shoddy. I'm a chemist. Uh, chop and brine peppers and then blend. I don't know what the brining process includes. I don't know what y'all are talking about. People are saying ferment, so. Go ahead to y'all scientific motherfuckers in the audience. I love y'all. I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. But. See you later, Archibald. Bye, Cuzzo. Jay says the brine is just sea salt and water. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what brine is. Br I, I just asked Sorry. you that. <laughs> there are some recipes where you have to brine your meat. All right, so we're chopping the onions, y'all. Love you too, Archibald. Mm. Jesus. Those onions are fucking me up right now. So people be making, uh, fermenting a bunch of shit. Kenny said he was making cheese. He gave me the instructions to do that also. See, y'all, we should go buy a fucking island. And just live off the land, and y'all, y'all motherfuckers know how to ferment and shit. We would be fine. We would be fine. I feel like I should be head of security. I feel like. I mean, what? What are some kind of army are they expecting, expecting with the security? We would go to fucking war with everyone if y'all put me in charge. Just letting you know that now. We fighting, fighting. We ready for smoke? Oh. You're silly. John says, LOL. That could be a response to many different things. <laughs> That's going to be our motto. We want all the smoke. Uh, 
Yeah. Kenny says, hashtag beer Twitter commune. John right. says he's with it for your head. See, I'm saying. Look at you. Look at all right. You. We can do this, y'all. Let's just all pitch in and buy a fucking island somewhere. All right. Can we put that pool in the My mother in law It's okay. What'd you say? Oh, can we put the bed in the No, she's still chopping them. I'm about to put okay. them in right now, though. So here are the onions. Did you season the potatoes? I did. What did you season? I put garlic powder, Cajun seasoning, and black pepper. Mm. And then also, y'all, if you're anything like me and like, if you're heavy on seasoning, everything that we put in, like every time you add something, you need to season. So right now we just added the veggies. I'm gonna season again and we we'll put the medium. We're gonna season again. If you don't like seasoning, like that or spicy food, don't. But I do. Right. Mm. 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 All right. Um, so anybody else drinking anything besides Kenny drinking his IPA that quote unquote fell out of the truck? <laughs> And Dr. J has a has a rosé, a dry rosé that she was drinking. I don't know what else people are drinking. And you also want to keep stirring your potatoes ever softening because you don't want them to scorch the bottom of your pan. Oh, so I'm not the only person uh, relegated to water. I'm drinking water because I am on antibiotics. But um, she got cooties. I do not have cooties. Yeah, I really want to know. Like this shit right here, it was it was the size of like a she had a, a rock a ball. half dollar, <laughs> and it was swollen out. It was huge on Sunday, and I was it was painful. I went to urgent care, and they, they pumped me full of a bunch of p- uh, pills, and I got shot. Um, and now it's gone, but yeah, I had, to, I, took, I had to take two days off work for that. The doctor was like, you shouldn't, the way you move your head, you shouldn't drive, like, you, you can't turn around and look. And y'all, Tony doesn't complain. I'm the one that, like, y'all know I'm theatrical. Um, so for Tony to go, even go to the doctor, I knew it was serious. I had surgery Tony earlier won't. this year, and that hurt worse than anything that I experienced during that. But it's probably in a more sensitive area in the face and stuff. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, and I also didn't want that to linger on or have any. And then I also have this uh this weird fear in the back of my head because my god brother, when we were maybe eight or so, he used to have big swelling in this area, but it turned out to be cancer, and he had cancer as a small child. He went through all these chemo and surgery, so anytime I get shit right here swelling up and in the neck. It makes me, it, it, it scares me. So he he's fine now. He's still with us. He uh, just got his 25-year cancer survivor from um, St. Jude, but his little pin. So he's doing well. Got three sons getting married. So he's. What's that, weed? No, this is my godbrother. Uh, you haven't met him. His name is Justin. Like weed. Weed did not have cancer. I thought I was saying I didn't know that. <laughs> Have you even met Weedy? I am. Oh. Yeah, Weedy's oh, new. I'm tired. It's so bomb. I, I'm already thinking about what the hell I'm gonna, else I'm going to cook in here. <laughs> I'm definitely cooking my jumbo in here. Okay, so John is drinking water with me. Gemma is drinking water. Um, Virginia says she has American Lager from Austin Beer Works and Solemn Oath. And Jay has a five burls. Bless you. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. This this April, she do you know she's doing a lot with the onions and the seasoning. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm intru- I'm looking forward to probably trying that five burls Pilsner. Y'all know how I feel about Pilsner. And I'll tell y'all, if you are potatoes, if you don't have cast iron, you're just using a regular skillet, and it starts to stick, I'm team throwing more butter. So, um, Oh, wow. Culture. April is I, team cholesterol. Look here. If you eat my <laughs> cooking, you eat it. I know. Can you leave out this? No, heifer. Cholesterol. Don't eat cholesterol. 
<laughs> but yeah, because you don't want it to scorch the um the potatoes. I hate scorch that taste. And also, you don't want to be scrubbing no matter what kind of pan you use. You don't want to be, you know, hitting that scrubbing. You don't want to be scrubbing. You don't want to be scrubbing the shit. Oh, speaking of Austin Beer Works, did y'all see that whole uh, A versus B Pilsner thing? People are um, mad about that. Well, people are upset because it was kind of inaccessible to people who are colorblind. Uh, so basically, they had uh, two cans. And if anybody has ever had like a visual acuity test where they have all the dots and some of the dots are red, different shades of red and they make a number or a letter or something out of green dots to see your... They made two cans like that. One had a green A and one had a green B. But people were unhappy because it was, uh, I guess, and I didn't know this many people suffered from color blindness, but it was inaccessible. So then they were like, I don't get it. It's just a bunch of gray dots on the can, a bunch of dots on the can. I didn't know how color blind that was so. Um, I didn't know it was as prevalent as yeah. either. But a lot of people got in the comments and were complaining. I think it mostly, um, mostly men suffer from that. I want to say. Definitely more men or male assigned male people than assigned female people. But um John says one of a friend of his is colorblind and couldn't figure out, but I think I have uh I think I've been successful in soliciting that <laughs> you know, that beer. So I'm gonna um see if I can tell the dish difference. One is supposed to be decocted and made with traditional methods, and one is supposed to be made with more modern methods. It's a mixed six pack. There's a three of each, and they're saying, oh, try these. Tell us which one you think is decocted, or tell us if you think it's the same beer, and we'll post the, uh, uh, the answer on October 5th. So, That's so interesting. Okay. I thought that was a cool thing. Y'all know how I feel about Pilsner, or pills for the non- the non check ones, but um, I don't know how to pronounce the name of that town. But and then, y'all, what I'm doing now is I'm cutting up the sausage. Preferably, I would like Andouille sausage, but they didn't have them at my store, so we're just doing a pork hot link. I prefer pork over beef because when you fry um, your sausage, all that fat. It's just gonna coat all over your hash. It's gonna be it's gonna be beautiful. It's beautiful. So don't if you are a person that eats beef and pork, I would say go for tea pork. <laughs> Jason says men complaining, that's wild. And Virginia says she thinks that's a great idea. I think that's I, idea. Cool too. I think that's cool too. My mom was like, is, is they bored over there? They don't have nothing to do. Why would they be doing it? Why would they make an old beer? <laughs> and she's like, yeah, okay. When are we doing IPAs? And uh, oh, she stopped by Wiseacre uh, yesterday to say hi, and they gave her some of the their uh, new rice lager, Japanese rice lager that. Okay. that they they made and she's supposed to be getting back to she gave two of them to my uncle her and her baby brother went to celebrate her birthday at a restaurant and they ended up stopping by there afterwards so and i will go ahead and throw your sauce sorry throw your sauce again oh yeah yeah virginia says she loves comparison tastings i i just thought it was interesting Oh, comparing yeah. thing is this cool, but I feel like it's gonna be a competition. If anybody's on Twitter, the cat is probably gonna be talking some shit. I'm sure the cat. <laughs> what is this real name? I don't know who the fuck that is. Y'all, somebody that's crazy because y'all know exactly who we're talking about. Everybody just calls him the damn cat. I just call him cat too. He gets on my nerves. <laughs> but somebody say it with your chest, baby. Somebody alluded to the fact that he is like he. He's really a very well-off tech person getting on here, acting like a you know a, a socialist or communist person. I'm not a I'm not real huge on politics or how economic systems work. I'm an engineer, so I try to stay in my lane. But he they say that he's not really a man of the people as he presents. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah. It, no, he lives where I live at. Oh, Jesus. Have you run yeah. into the cat yet? <laughs> Have you met the cat, Dr. J? Yeah, that's his birthday. Not yet. Not, yet. not, not yet. yet. You're going to find him. Dr. J is going to go find the cat and report back. To <laughs> she says they live in the same town. <laughs> We live in the same town as some people too that tries to remain anonymous. <laughs> Jay says Dr. J is gonna regret <laughs> the cat. The cat uh, and Kenny says the cat gets on everyone's nerves. I mean I think he tries to, so I, it may be. Yeah. And it's not that he no, he he seems pretentious. <laughs> it's like a, a, an over dumb shit too. You know about me, I get wound up on Twitter, but it's not about, you know, did someone create a Kolsch block? <laughs> you, know, you want the beer, drink it. If you don't, don't drink it. Scroll by and be like, damn, look at them making bullshit and move along. What is this discussion? <laughs> what is this debate? <laughs> I mean, because I feel like we all scroll through the internet and are like, damn, this person really saying some bullshit. Let me, let me move it along. But people, I feel like, get wound up about the dumbest shit when we got way more in important stuff to be concerned about. <laughs> Except yeah. the sound of pills. The stuff that made me get a lot of concern, they'll let it go. Yeah. They do let it go and be like, oh, I don't know. They, they do. We just need to. No. <laughs> well, it won't be that way with me. If I'm involved with you, it'll be. And that, you know why? Because it doesn't directly uh, concern them or their loved ones. Of course, I mean, it comes from a place of privilege for sure. Anytime you can separate yourself from issues like that, that's privilege. No matter what the reason you can. But some people can't walk away because these are their issues. It smells so good in here, y'all. Uh, yes, John, that cat. And the, also, the red cat, Abby. I don't know if y'all are like me, but I like to have an over easy egg on my hash. Please do not do that to anything you serve me. Oh, I'm about to go in y'all on this hash. As long as mine does not include an egg, I know. Nobody <laughs> doesn't eat eggs that way, but I'm about to have all kind of runny yolk. I don't even like eggs. I just eat I don't eat eggs anymore, but runny yolk is my shit. But, um, that is not for me. And I don't know. I don't even like eggs, but I I'll eat the boiled egg whites or actually. Egg. So y'all, the yolk is the best part of the egg. I hate the yolk. It's also fatty. That's so, why it's the best part of the egg. Good. Everything. I mean, if I'm trying to have my shit together, be in shape, you you know, I, everything I eat gotta have to taste good. You pick one meal. That's gonna that you're gonna enjoy. The rest is about Tony rest is, is functional. Tony is very disciplined. Meanwhile, my fat ass is okay with being chunky and happy. I'm so content. And you are also not fat. So content. Also not fat. Yeah. So, so <laughs> because I would be so pissed off in heaven if like my last meal was like a fucking salad or some shit. I would be hella upset. Are you gonna you gonna go and then take up your concerns with the Lord? Yes, like send me back for just the last meal. Jesus. They said Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. You better tell him you don't want a salad. I would be pissed. He's on the line. <laughs> Call him up and tell him what you want. <laughs> John says he really felt heard when I went on the work rant the other day. Today is not the day. Had similar BS at work this week. If only people could read the room. Yeah, uh, people operate from a place of privilege. They don't understand when other people are experiencing trauma or are hurting, and they expect you to show up at work and perform as if these things aren't happening. And that's unfortunate and unfair. Just a lot, you know, it's, it's, it's horrible, in my opinion. And I don't think employers get that, especially employers that are run by folks who don't have to experience this trauma and don't have to deal with this. They, you know, they're retreating to their suburban safe space and that's the end of it for them. They're not, they don't have to deal with it. So you come, you 
do what you need to do to earn them their money, and that's the end of it. Uh, John says it's a lack of treating people as the most important resource, but the thing about it is why do we even have to commodify people as resources? Why do we have to say, <laughs> yeah, people are valuable, but calling them commodity, I got into it with somebody on beer Twitter about that asset commodity or some dumb shit they said just in the dehumanizing people as far as to only their contributions but but yeah and I mean people tend to humanize certain people and not others my strong belief is not to butt in on y'all conversation I feel like <laughs> y'all white supremacists don't view black people as human which is why That's they you do get white supremacy. Yeah, which is why they have no conscience on saying the shit that they say or doing the shit that they do because they don't view us as human beings. Like I already shared y'all that post where they literally some doctors in the U.S. still believe that we have weird ass blood, our our nerve system is different, and we can tolerate pain more, and like we just fucking aliens. Yeah. The, so well, they obviously have not met April because she has the lowest first the of pain off, tolerance. Y'all. My Your life. girl, what was in my finger or my toe? I cut something. She had a cut this big on her finger. I she almost asked me to go bled to the, the fuck out because you need to go to the hospital. She is not medically motherfucking trained. Tell me I shouldn't go seek medical attention. Okay, it was my finger because I couldn't drive because so I was going to drive myself. Then she snatched the phone out of my hand when I tried to call the ambulance. I could have bled out. She is not medically trained. I just want to make that clear. Tell me you got no Raise your hand in the comments if you would pay, you know, $2,000 for somebody to go to the hospital for a cut this big. There is no <laughs> value on this life here, okay? I don't think it was I a life. I could have <laughs> bled out, y'all. We, we handled the issue with Neosporin and a bandage. You handle it. I was in pain. <laughs> you think the doctor was going to do some shit that didn't hurt? And that's where you get the real pain. You go fucking with them. So we almost done with the hash. I just felt <laughs> like if the doctor told me you're tripping, that would have been your fine. mama told you. Your mama is okay. a nurse. She's medically trained. I calmed the hell down when she told me that. But you, I'm not a damn uh, rocket. You can't tell me what's wrong and what's not wrong. We called your mom and she had the situation. Mixed See, up. if something ever in life happens to me, it's because her black ass didn't. Let me get y'all saw what she posted yesterday talking about snapped the show snapped 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 is the educational. Shit. First of all, that's why y'all have to Jay. show up in here. I need witnesses to make sure I'm here. Y'all will learn all kind of fucking uh laws and regulations in different states when these heifers try to kill people. Um, I learned all it's better than watching Law and Order. You learn all kind of shit about the goddamn law in different states and what you can do and get away with and what you can't. Now, I live in the wrong damn state. I can't get away with shit if I really wanted to. But um, you southern states, <laughs> y'all can get away with all kinds of shit. Well, keeping my ass in California, I'm not going to Memphis with you anymore. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's educational as fuck. She ain't talking about educational. And These I women live. are methodical. Like, this lady literally slowly poisoned her husband for eight months. I don't have a patience. Y'all know my temper. If I want it done, it's going to get done. But she felt, um, she fed him antifreeze. Ugh. And antifreeze does not have an odor and it's tasteless. So she was giving this man, he thought he had like the worst flu. Meanwhile, she feeding this Negro antifreeze in his soup and shit. Eight months, y'all. And she got away with it for like years. How did it end up on Snap that she got away with it? Because his parents um, were like, no, that bitch is crazy. She killed my son. And they had <laughs> money, so they had all kind of detectives and shit. Like, literally, she got caught, like, almost 20 years later. It wasn't like, you know, some turnaround shit. But that was crazy to me. John says he feels like he, that was on Forensic Files, the story you tell him. It probably was. That girl, the lady was crazy. <laughs> And she patient as hell. If I, well, want I don't know. They, they, they tell you hell hath no fury. Show the fuck down. <laughs> that, is, that is some anecdotal evidence that bolsters that claim. Because <laughs> if I'm mad, I'm mad. I'm a patient. Yeah. Right, I'm about to fry my egg, y'all, because no, it's almost done. You frying eggs in a cast iron? Huh? You frying an egg on a cast iron? No, I'm going to do a regular pan. Thank mm -hmm. you.
We're gonna plate in a little bit. But yeah, I'm gonna try to find all the loggers for my birthday, the Libra gang. Who else is a Libra up in here? Archie's my a Libra. Oh, uh, Dr. J says her wife is a Libra. Okay, okay. Libra gang, 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 gang. But uh, yeah, I'm turning 200 in two weeks. Tony is a baby. I'm a cougar. 200, I would be. I'm a whole cougar. Tony is a baby. Virginia says her husband's a Libra. Well, I don't know. I, I have you, my grandmother tells me I'm a hundred, so that you said that old you got octogenarians telling you that you're old and shit. That's old soul. she's a very old. Soul. She said I'm old. My dad said that shit too. I called it. I was fucking with him because he he turned sixty last month or this month actually. No, last month. His birthday's August. In September, but he uh turned 60, and I'm like, Yo, you turned 200. He was like, You don't want 200, you was 200 when you was born. <laughs> but he, he he wants to do this, he wants to be do this via YouTube uh Instagram live and participate in this. Um, <laughs> Tony's dad, aka activity. the original cat daddy, is funny as hell. But I don't know. I don't know. Like I cannot be responsible for any obscenities he or expletives. The opposite of Tony. Like I'm <laughs> telling him on here. He is hilarious. Mom might get on here and get in the comments, but she ain't gonna. I don't think she would yeah, get on. Yeah, both of our mommies are. I don't think she would get on video. Now both of our dads, active dad Ooh. is. In you know the most handsome person in the world in his head, he's Tony. If I show y'all pictures, it's a taller Tony. But um, yeah, oh that that'll be a good good poll. I can post a picture of my parents and y'all tell me which one I look more like because I get split answers and they are competitive about that. So y'all know what's funny? Okay, so I'm the only girl in my family. We don't count. You know, I don't count Danny because I'm the original. So well, Denny's a guy. We don't. I'm tar, I'm far as far as children. I don't you really said count. I'm the only time. girl. <laughs> and then you brought up she your brother. She wanting to argue with me anyway. <laughs> I felt some type of way when my daddy called Tony. What do you call you, baby girl? I don't remember this. He called story. her baby girl. I don't fucking like that because yeah, no. Um, I love if they get along. I like when he calls her. He calls you Tony. After the time, but the whole baby girl shit, I had to pull him aside. Like, sir, that that's not gonna cut it. I'm baby girl. I'll always be baby girl. She's new. I would just like to say on She's record new. that April has called me extra like six times on here today. You just heard this story. You heard a story about a centimeter long I'm cut baby on her baby girl. finger. She brands new. I don't even know why they. My brother said the same thing. Like, I'm she's the new. extra one though. Listen to this girl. <laughs> Ain't no baby girl throwing around. Uh, but my dad calls you that. He, he. As he should. I'm his favorite. Oh. Okay. No, he texting me about the Lakers and shit, asking me when I'm going to get on board like his other daughter. Because he know what's up. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's been a Laker fan forever, though. So. Are y'all Before hashtag? Memphis had a, a Is yours done, Dr. J? What? Is your hash done? I'm up. Okay. So I'm just like I said, y'all. I'm gonna put an egg. I'm gonna fry an um, over easy egg on mine. We will leave Tony fair. It's pretty much done. I'm just letting. Also, I like a little char. That's the Cajun in me. I like a little char on mine. If you don't, yours should kind of be done. Depending on how much you make. But yeah, getting Tony's dad on here would be hilarious. Jesus, he's also a businessman. He is. He's like, I can, I can elevate your brand. You should just let me get on the, well, in the oh, videos I with y'all. <laughs> so wait, when we lived in Fort Collins, my dad and Tony's dad had a whole discussion. One, Tony, I told y'all I thought Tony made the beer. Um, and my dad suggested that parents? they don't listen. They yeah. just tell you. <laughs> then my dad said we were all going to buy a hops farm and uh, live on the farm 
and we were all gonna make beer. Well, Dad's very pro black owned business. He was like, Well, how y'all got the supply chain and do black people grow these barleys yeah. and pops in? I'm like, well, that's a valid question. I don't know about the supply chain. I've never been Pop a Boys and Kenny farmer. Stevenson planned out our entire damn business plan. And but parents don't it. listen when I uh, I don't know. I told my mom that I passed the certified Cicerone exam last year. And she's like, oh, I've been told people you had that. I'm like, mom, what if I failed? You want to stop it. And <laughs> my right. auntie called and she was like, oh, I heard you got you a beer, beer license. license. <laughs> I heard you got you a beer license. Congratulations. You're going to sell you some beer? My sweet, my yeah. sweet auntie Sharon. <laughs> You gonna sell you some beer? And then my mom bragging in her job. You know, my daughter made this fat tire you drinking. All this shit she made. Like, well, mom loves fat tires. She's she likes to eat it with scallops. That and tire goes with everything. That's why. Well, Belgian beers are designed like that. It goes with everything. They're designed that way to have with food. It's a very right. food centric culture. Arch isn't here to enjoy me ruin your presentation. <laughs> yeah, every time Tony picks up the damn plate, she I be trying to show the YouTube plate. people what it looked like. They she sat here and watched you cook for the for what an hour and I then you damn Instagram the, picture because she messed with shit. Well take your picture first and then we'll show them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys. So we're gonna be coming out with the schedule. For October. For October um, show. Yeah, probably we're gonna change is happening. Yeah, especially with the VIP tier. Uh people don't usually Dr. J's the only one that uses it. I mean that well, she doesn't even do that. People are not utilizing the one on one although Dr. J pretty much has that here. <laughs> the one on one um, cooking thing, so restructure that to so it's what maybe I, something. What I want to do this. That's the part. I don't know what to choose. Oh, for cooking? What to cook? Yeah. But that's probably going to be revamped because no one no one ever wants to do it. Nobody. And then Tasha is going to do it with me one day. Yeah. That, she's the only person who's ever responded yeah. to that. So October will probably do. I mean, we'll still do this, but the VIP tier will probably be offered something different to give them a little bit more value to their subscription but you know once we once we get to a uh, hundred subscribers we'll probably um, be dropping some, some merch and stuff yeah we'll be doing giveaways soon y'all yeah we have a partnership with Archibald who just exited a few minutes ago in his bombshell masks we're going to be doing a giveaway with those so that's okay. gonna be pretty cool gonna promote the channel a little bit figure out what contest we're gonna do for that get some engagement can make this look pretty don't, don't take sure your pic yet. take your picture because I'm I'm showing it to the people Which one am I? I don't know yet. I have to play with it and make it look pretty. Skills me. Thought it was time for eating. I have to do my pictures before Tony. Why? You you only need one of the plates to do a picture. I know, but I don't know which one I want to use yet. Let me live my life. I'm, I'm hungry, hungry, girl. Hey. I'm hungry. We ate yesterday. <laughs> All right, Granny. What's my poor sleep? Yeah, but this morning a lot has gone on. I um, my mom is a big Dallas Cowboys fan, and her birthday was this past Monday. Um, and she wanted a an Emmett Smith jersey for her birthday, so I ordered this shit from Macy's, have it delivered to the house. I ordered her a men's size large jersey, which should fit. They sent her a kids large jersey. <laughs> Oh, which no. I can't even fit. She goes back to the, the Macy's store. They start acting like they don't want to take it back. You know, my mother in law, she liked me. So that was like an hour conversation this morning. 
I took my medicine on a, an empty stomach, so I was unhappy with that. My stomach was unhappy with me. So that's been my morning, and I very much would like to eat now. <laughs> yes. Yes, April is plating. April is taking pictures mostly. Sorry, y'all. I have to get these because my wife. I don't know. Speed. I don't know if they're. They have quite right. they said anything. Wow. So, this is Tony's plate. Let me bring it down so y'all can see. They can see that. Here is the hash. Looking, smelling delicious. Put you guys back up. Yeah, here we go. And mine has the egg on it. <laughs> so we're about to go in. I need something to drink. I'm so excited. You don't drink water. I don't. April will say she's thirsty and gets so. And get a damn Coke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad with water, y'all. I'm hella bad with water. I actually need to take my pill. My pill. My vitamin D. Oh, you know what pills? I haven't been taking my multivitamins. I'll be right back. I get my pill. Speak to people. I'm finna eat. Kenny says it looks good. April did not include an apple though. I, I did. Wow. I don't have any Granny Smith. I have. But you could use the apple. I have Fiji. I wasn't feeling that taste bomb. I only have Fiji and Honey Crisp. Honey crisp, they call apples that? Mm hmm. April brought like 17 apples home. First of all, let me tell y'all how I fucked up this <laughs> I'm not used to like doing the whole buying online, the pickup, but people out here are acting a fool, so I was like, okay, I'm just going. Last night in my mind, I was like, I'm gonna get everything but my produce. Okay? Um, I don't know what kind of mess I was on. But your girl didn't take out the produce, so when I went to go pick up, I didn't think I ordered the produce. So after the lady put the stuff in my car, I went in the grocery store and got all my produce. I got double of everything. So, yeah. We fuck that up, but we gonna be healthy as fuck in this household for the next two weeks. Okay. All this damn produce. I like it, babe. That's good. It's good? Yes. Cool. Well, yeah, this is a very... I feel like simple meal and it's cheap as hell, y'all. I think the most expensive thing was probably the sausage. Yeah, yeah. that's normal. Yeah. That's part for the course, right? The yeah. meat is the most expensive part of a dish. And if you're vegetarian, I think this is vegetarian friendly, minus my egg, I think. Vegetarian with meat? I mean, uh, without the sauce. I mean, sausage and the egg, I think this is vegetarian friendly. And it would be good without the meat, too, but. I mean, well, without the meat, yeah, you're vegetarian friendly. That's you got all vegetables, <laughs> <laughs> but it's cheap. You can get like a bag of fucking um, potatoes for two dollars, at least in California. Bell peppers. I don't know if it onions. goes all the way to vegan though, because the butter and stuff. That's true. Mm -hmm. But you can use can they use oil? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I'm part of that. Okay. Yeah. There's a special butter. But yeah, super simple. Kind of labor intensive with all the chopping, but not really. Super simple, y'all. Well, you got a potato filler. If you got to chop this by hand. Yeah. John says it looks great, April. Thank you, Bobby. But yeah, we'll be out with the schedule soon. Tell y'all what we cooking. I'm trying to do more like. It's hard to fix you guys stuff in like. An hour and a half frame because most of the food that I cook takes about like two hours plus. I mean, but one thing we can do, like if we were to do a big meal or a gumbo or something like that, like roux or anything that needs, we could do a video ahead of time where we make that, post it, show people how to do it. Yeah. And then be like, okay, when you if you're gonna cook along, you need to have this already done, and these are the videos, have the steps how to do. Yeah. No, thinking like, oh. I want to make oxtail with them, but like, ooh, that would be good. I'm still, we're still trying to figure out how to show you guys the stove. We're, we're getting a camera with a tripod, so maybe we can have an overview of the stove. Uh-huh. So, I love oxtail, and oxtail is another um, not-so-great cut of meat. You have to really cook it and tenderize it, but it's 
So our neck bones. Like, I've seen like soups and all kinds of stuff. There's two ways as far as how to cook it. I have two ways. There's kind of the soupy way with that thicker gravy that you put over rice. And then my mom cooks their cooks hers in a Dutch oven with a tomato sauce. So bomb. That one I probably wouldn't show y'all because like it cooks in the oven forever. But um, yeah, the one with the tomato sauce, like things like neck bones, oxtail, and another kind of meat. How do people make these on cooking shows? Do they have a separate one that was already cooking that yeah. they bring out or something? I hate that. Don't y'all hate that? You'll be watching the Food Network and cooking with her, and here she comes. Yeah, here's a dish. Bitch, we just fucking chopped the vegetables. How you got the whole? But anyway, yeah, normally they have like two you separate. On with the less meat. See how she, she just said I gave her scoops with less meat. Do y'all see what I deal with? Do y'all see what I deal with? I purposely gave her less meat. Why did you still bring I was trying to see if the survey the meat situation before I did the labor. Of the meat. engineer. The engineer, okay? See you later, John. You buy John, just use the fucking serving spoon instead of bringing the plate to the stove. It would have been a waste to bring the plate to the stove if there was no meat in there. I'm so glad y'all be seeing this shit. I'm trying to see why. I'm I'm I am so no glad y'all y'all be seeing so this I had shit. To go, I had to go over there. I know there's not meat, so I'm not bringing my plate because I know you didn't just not give me any. But people don't believe in me when I tell her that, that she does shit like that. Nope, she didn't. Yes, the fuck she did. But anyway. I wonder what people will believe about you. They believe anything. They know I ain't got no goddamn sense. So <laughs> shit ain't hard to believe when you say April did it. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm thinking like stuff like that, like neck bones, oxtail. I was thinking jambalaya would be good to do with y'all. YouTube Sunday brunch next month. What are y'all thinking? The brunch ones are actually harder to to because I don't do a lot of brunch food. Brunch food to me is like I be eating oh. stuff that's like dinner stuff for brunch. So yeah. Paul Jones <laughs> has joined us from Paul from Cloudwater has joined us. Paul. From Paul Jones. Mm -hmm. Paul Jones. My baby. Paul is like the fucking most positive person I think I'm ever going to meet in my goddamn life. Sure. I'm pretty positive, but Christine is also pretty sweet. Yes, she is. Everybody from the UK and Canada. Christine, yeah, is from Toronto area. Yeah. Every time I'm up there, she comes. Like, Rin, like, if Rin was my boss and fired me, I wouldn't even cuss her out. I would be like, you're right. <laughs> I fucked up. For you. My fault. Yeah, right? right. She's I'm so fucking nice. <laughs> Rena's like one of the nicest people I've met. It's seen. so cheerful. So yeah, y'all. Uh, no takers on I Sunday brunch I'm suggestions. Okay, yeah, looking up, trying to look up them. Oh, so Dr. J might have a suggestion. YouTube, feel free to chime in. in. Yeah. Paul, we're cooking we half. We did, we did the that waffle. last week. Um, yeah, the the waffles kind of <laughs> talking shit about my waffles. <laughs> we we really didn't have a recipe for the waffles because April didn't. They measure. turned out really good, but if y'all watched that video, I was remixing shit as I go. Uh -huh. So I don't really have a recipe because so I just, I couldn't give y'all a recipe. I usually yeah. try to get the recipes up there the next week. But my fault. We I'm not with the measuring y'all, but there was no recipe to do. <laughs> I had one, but I just remixed it on the spot. That's why I'm not a good baker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And shout out to Tony, y'all. She made pound cake, and she also made um, what was that? It wasn't the upside down cake. It was um, oh the cookies, the cookies. coffee cake. Cookies. Yeah, she was up in here baking, giving me anxiety, but they all turned out good. Anxiety. Because I'm the type of person that when I cook, I clean as I go. And Tony is the complete opposite. She cooks everything and will clean like half an hour later. She cleans, but I'm just sitting there like, so you going to clean the kitchen? So you need help clean the kitchen? So you want to clean the kitchen? <laughs> That's well, I am. Can we do like a, you want to bake? No. On camera? <laughs> <laughs> what? 
She asked that. me, did I want to bake on camera? I, I do not. She was so that, that cute, y'all. But um, she was so cute. I'm not comfortable baking in front of people. I just started baking like two weeks ago. I've made two things. Tony is so technical. Like she had to like flour in the measuring thing, and she was going like this to make oh, sure. Perfect though. That's perfect for making. She's making so just precise. Baker. Yep. But that other recipe, that those cookies were my own recipe. Yes, and she made. That's how G she is. Like that was her first time baking. Cause you didn't bake, you bake the cookies first, then you cook the um, cake, right? He said, love you, April, keep it as is, totally worth it. Thank you. The, but yeah. You cooked the cookies first, right? Yeah, I made the cookies first, but that was my own own personal recipe. They were bomb. They were really good. You know, I would tell y'all the nice way they suck, but they were good. But yeah, I, um, you made me forget what I was going to say. <laughs> I, I want to make fun of you real quick. Tony does not eat vegetables. You she literally, literally pushed cakes. me out of the way to say I want to make fun of you real quick. Potato is a vegetable. It grows under Whatever, the ground. real vegetables. She don't eat real vegetables. It grows under the ground. But maybe a brunch you want to do like Cajun fajitas or, or some shit. Cajun like, fajitas? Like a practice taco. Okay, like, we can do that. Well, Cajun breakfast. Time. What's the Cajun fajita? I don't know. What's a fajita? So you're just making shit up. What's a fajita? <laughs> Make a Cajun. You but made yeah. everything. You're like, oh, Cajun this, Cajun that. You've done that like six times already. You onion, do bell pepper, <laughs> some kind of protein. It could be steak. It could be chicken. It could be shrimp. So put Cajun, season it in a Cajun way and make it a shrimp one. Or let's do multiple meals. We'll have a buffet. Oh. Will we said the person not cooking? We will. Um, do you marinate stuff a lot? Yes. I, I could use some marinade recipes. Ooh, okay. That'd be that. fun. I like that because you really get to remix. Well, you want to I like to remix stuff. I love I love marinating any marinade. Yeah. Like flank steak and certain cuts of meat you do have you make to, your own. I do. Okay, so yeah. yeah. I do. But, Put marinade recipes and shit. But yeah, I I would like the. I'm starting uh, to get into my salad dressing too. I would like the fajita bar. You would like the okay. We'll do the fajita bar. I don't. Maybe we can marinate um a steak and have steak fajita. We're gonna have a video. I think that's a video we just. Post I have, I'll probably have to pre have the marinade watch. for you guys. I'll put the right. We'll put the recipe up, but maybe I'll pre um. I do a video along with the recipe so you guys can marinate mm -hmm. it like a pup. Yeah, we'll do it that way. So it'll be a pre recorded video for the marinade and then we'll cook it together. So that's going to be cook along with me. What's Sunday brunch? Oh shit. I thought that was brunch. Okay. Brunch is not a, a cook along experience. <laughs> We do. Unless waffles. you want to open that up to cook along, that yeah. means you gotta put that stuff out there ahead of the time, ahead of the video. I don't know what y'all. I don't eat brunch. I just be eating lunch food and calling it brunch and dinner and shit. You made shrimp and grits. You did that. Ate chicken and waffle. What else do we? Eat? We did croquettes. <laughs> Salmon croquettes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. What else is breakfast? You need to learn how to make beignets. I mean, I think that aligns with the desserts and the bacon would, and shit. That's, that's brunch. Who said it wasn't? Oh, I just I didn't want you to get out of that. Yeah. But you can, you can eat it as a brunch dessert. No one eats that as a meal. I would eat that as a goddamn meal. A beignet? A plate of them, not a beignet, a few. So beignets. April says beignets are meal. Spaghetti is a meal. Beignets are meal to this woman. We're not enjoying <laughs> the spaghetti and fish. You said a plate. It, it, it is a meal to her. That is a meal in his lifestyle. <laughs> with all that powdered sugar, with some uh, hot cocoa. That is not a meal. That's a goddamn meal. For Unless the fat you folk, think it's a breakfast it's cookie. Meal. Yeah, you treating it like okay. A, For the fat, I'm dipping it in fat girl. And shit. <laughs> it's a motherfucking meal. I'm just saying. About four, five of them. Sugar and some hot cocoa. Boom. Yeah, but yeah, I'm getting my shit together. Regarding my health for this week, but Bootleg Baker will be back. That's her name, Bootleg Baker. 
I mean, when you're self-taught at some shit, you know, some of us are self-taught at have, everything beer Twitter sees me doing is self-taught. Yeah. Self-taught advocacy, self <laughs> But yeah, we'll think on it, y'all. Self-taught human rights advocate, I'm self-taught baking. <laughs> I don't know what we'll do for we'll do self-taught something. Self-taught journalist, all of that shit. <laughs> I deviled eggs. Is that branch? You won't eat it. I have to put something you'll eat. You can make that for Maybe them. Maybe deviled eggs. Do I don't know. I'm going to have some other shit over here. Be some Cheerios. I will not be eating Cheerios. <laughs> but I have something else that I will eat. But I can do my breakfast casserole, but I don't know if y'all want, if y'all like casserole. I was going to suggest casserole. No, nobody give a... F- yeah. I like it. <laughs> That be, we can do breakfast casserole. They ain't gotta eat it. They just watching. The, the but I want I want to do stuff that you guys will try like at home. Do y'all like breakfast casserole? Which it's what's breakfast? Awesome. What's breakfast casserole? It's like hash brown. Oh, I put bacon thank you, Jay. Day. Thank you, Jay. And a bunch of veggies. I pack mine with thank a shitload. Of Jay veggies. says French toast and pancakes. Kenny says Sunday brunch, some kind of patty melts breakfast sandwich. I don't like. French toast casserole. Oh yeah, what's French that? toast casserole? I was gonna do that for you for your one birthday, but I was describing you like I don't like the French toast. I don't French remember toast. this discussion. No, no describe oh, it again. Oh. Describe it again. Pecan French toast casserole. Boom. What 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 makes it cas? What does the casserole oh, part entail? I have to I get some French bread. I'm okay now. I'm excited. I have to get French bread. I have to get heavy cream. I gotta get fresh pecans. Jay says it's bread pudding, but for breakfast. <laughs> kind of, sort of. That sounds good. We can do that. French toast, pecan, casserole. Ah! What? What's what this? a stout? I'm drinking. We gotta get a stout for that. Oh, uh, okay. my mother, my beautiful, mm-hmm. lovely, lovely, you know, oh Doctor Boyce, my beautiful mother. I'm excited. Is uh, sending me some Wise Acre stuff for my birthday. That, um, that would be good. So it is, they have a, a coffee milk stout. It has some actual coffee in it, I think, that says, uh, it's called Gotta Get Up to Get Down. I also like that stuff. I'm not even a real stout person, but anytime she does a haul for me for uh, from Wise Acre, I usually have Which is get monthly some of those. now. Which is fucking but, monthly. Well, my mom. My mom loves me. She got people that Libby sent her like eight or nine IPAs because she knows. First off, Libby sent us every damn beer she brews, okay? I fucking love Libby. We we were trying to, I think we like, I thought we were getting like five different beers and we got like Like, like, Yeah. It was two boxes full. Mm -hmm. What'd you say? Not I said it's like a Santa Elf just got it. Yeah, there. right. Like, yeah. There. But she sent my mom She's a so beautiful sweet. birthday note and a happy birthday, Tony's mom. And sent her. I told her my mom liked IPA, so I ordered a couple, but she sent like six more. Yeah. She's super sweet. <laughs> and her my favorite beer that her brewery does is um Bridget. The non guava. Bridget. Bridget is so bomb, y'all. I love Bridget. The non guava. You already said you didn't like guava and other things. So there's a Bridget that has guava, is aged on guava, and mm-hmm. one that's not. Um, she, I April likes guava. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm not fond of it. But the it's original Bridget. Little and y'all know how I feel about pumpkin. Well, look, I don't think you've said that to any of these people. Pumpkin is. Pumpkin is the vegetable version of mayo. Okay, it is disgusting. It's the devil. Pumpkins are for decoration. They are not for eating. Pumpkins. People okay. drink pumpkins and shit now. It's just I don't so know. Nasty. I thought the inside of a jack o' lantern was the grossest thing it's when I was weird. little. They're like, you want to carve this jack o' lantern? <laughs> and for I y'all, like I, I do not. Y'all that like pumpkin pie. Have I you ever been tricked into yeah. thinking one was a sweet potato pie? Have you ever been tricked? Sweet potato, y'all. Bruh. I have been tricked. My friend. I'm not buying pumpkin beers for her to do that, Jay. If you my want to ship friend, pumpkin beers here for her to talk shit, you do that. I will I'm throw not buying that shit. So my oh, friend my. thought it would be funny because I was like, I don't like pumpkin pie. Jay likes like, April to drink pumpkin beers I will for throw entertainment. Up. I will yeah. throw up. So she was like, I was like, I don't like pumpkin pie. I don't like pumpkin. And she's like, you haven't. It's just a face full of nutmeg. It's nasty. And she was like, you haven't tasted my pie. And I was like, Heffa, I don't want to taste your pie. I'm not doing it. 
I have brought for the potluck my auntie's sweet potato pie. Now, if you sit them next to each other, you can tell the difference because sweet potato is a little bit darker than pumpkin. They were on opposite ends of the table. I made the mistake of asking her to bring me a slice of sweet potato pie. She thought it would be funny, like I was like going to tell my, like she didn't know me, brought me her pumpkin nasty ass pie. <laughs> Not only did I spit it out, she got cussed out. Stop playing, okay? If my mouth was <laughs> ready, my mouth was ready for sweet potato and you give me this nasty ass fucking pumpkin. You know me. She knew, she set herself up. She knows yeah, she's gonna get cussed out. You are entertaining the shit out of you too. You know um, you're gonna get cussed <laughs> out. Your mouth be all ready from sweet potato and you bring me some nasty ass pumpkin. Not only did you mess with my vibe, you pissed me off. Jason um, Jason is trying to get me to get a, a live divorce, a live stream divorce by giving mm -hmm. April pumpkin beers. Kenny yeah. says, do you like squash? <laughs> I fuck with squash. I will saute some squash and I like it. Pumpkin is pumpkin. <laughs> I don't even like going to Trader Joe's because they be that with the bullshit. Oh, it's fall pumpkin cookies. Pumpkin That's cookies. everything. Yeah. And you know, I don't, I don't, I don't care for don't pumpkin nobody either. And I, you know, I disagree. I don't like co-signing all of the shit that April says it's just on things. here. But I also don't like pumpkin. I also hate Halloween and scary movies and she shit like that. It. Sucks to have an October birthday with all that shit because that's all that it is. Y'all just need oh. to understand pumpkins are for like that's y'all hide. So I don't yeah, I mean, well, that's part of that's one of the ways people experience acid aldehyde. It's just for decoration. That's don't eat that shit. Have y'all seen it? It's just for pumpkin? decoration. It's just for decorate. It's for the chill. I didn't even like decorating. And they're like, you want to carve this? I'm like, can we just paint the outside? Yeah. Like, open I never wanted to uh, <laughs> scoop the stuff out. I didn't mind. Yeah, that was so nasty. Uh, I didn't uh, mind. <laughs> that's nasty. Y'all stop doing that. Listen. <laughs> I just want y'all to go to someone who knows how to make a sweet potato pie and taste it. You will never go back, okay? Having a sweet potato pie is like driving or being in first fucking class. You don't want to go back to coach, okay? <laughs> and when you do go back to coach, it's motherfucking miserable the entire time because you are used to leather, you are used to leg room, you are used to your own goddamn TV, and food, they give you snacks and shit. You ain't gonna wanna be a coach. Just, yeah. just try yeah. sweet potato pie. It's first class. <laughs> All I'm saying, you won't go back. That's crazy. But yeah, I, I hate, I, I love fall, but I hate pumpkins. I hate Halloween. And I, the only Halloween movie I like to watch is The Nightmare Before Christmas. That's my favorite. And it's uh, debatable whether or not it is a Christmas movie versus a Halloween movie. But I, I watch it both holidays. Fuck you, whoever disagrees. Yeah. yeah. Fuck you if you disagree. This is my April moment. This is my April for moment. People who, not right, for people who are not right with the Lord and try to isolate this movie to one holiday or the other, fuck you. We're going to get I'm you to pray for you to write. I like the movie, but the first time I saw it, I was like, this is kind of uh, out here. Um, they it made fun of, of I think they made fun of him on Family Guy once and they it was like a Fourth of July one day and you know they made a stupid little cutaway to it and they oh. had a I thought that was hilarious because I love Tim Burton. It <laughs> but, it's a good movie, but it's kinda <laughs> it's kinda uh beetle juicy if you yeah. think beetle juice is kinda yeah. that's who he is. Yeah. Oh. Is he? Is he what? what He's is? not Beetlejuice. No. Oh, stop playing. Stop about to be like this. Like the same movie creator. You, oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> she thought he was I like love Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. I love Beetlejuice. Baby, you got shit all over your face. Do you want? Thank you. <laughs> Beetlejuice is a shit. But yeah, the, so, but you can't like the other one. Jay says his Nana, back when she used to bake, used to put Remy Martin in her sweet potato pie, chef's kiss. Oh, okay. Yeah, I fuck with your granny. Yeah, we fuck with granny and her sweet potato. Yeah. Auntie Raleen makes a rum cake that will get you fucked. Oh. How does she bake it and have I the alcohol stay in it? Y'all, <laughs> she cracked the um the cake box, the lid. We was all like, it's lit. It drips a little? Yeah, I think yeah. she did. Oh, that's, that's how you do that? <laughs> I don't even taste nothing after one bite. That's how fucking strong her that's cake like is. Uh, she didn't give me a back yet. I'm gonna have to call her. I'm gonna have to call her. But yeah. See what so, see what my um where my coffee cake is at for my uh, Libra birthday. And she's not gonna try to share. Watch. 
It's mine. When I when I earned my master's degree, um, oh Abel's my god, mother, here we go. He was like, I'm so proud of you. Can I make you some? Can I get you some? So I was like, I really love your my mother in law. Your dirty rice. I would like some dirty rice. So she sent a container of dirty rice. You know, I'm sitting on the couch. Container this big, y'all. Celebrating, you know, that I don't have to open up a book if I don't want to. I don't have to be up all night doing math problems, doing statistical and mathematical modeling. I'm just fucking watching stupid ass cartoons and eating dirty rice on the couch. And April's like, you're just gonna eat a little dirt. I wanted some of that. First off, I'm like, it was not free. I, I had to do this. Sure. I earned it. She fixed us enough dirty rice to last us a good month. She okay? didn't fix us. That's where you got that wrong. So <laughs> my thinking was, I went to go pick it up, and I was like, I'm cooking some chicken with this and some cabbage. Don't be the we don't have you whole fucking meal, meal right? right? Graduation. I go presents. take my ass to shower. I come back, oh girl, on the fucking couch with a fork and a whole goddamn container eating out the container. It's mine. <laughs> she asked me, "Can I, did I want something as a graduation present?" And then my not for you. Then my auntie <laughs> Raleen, who we always talk about, made her um, cupcake, coffee cake, coffee cake, basically made in muffins, so it's easier to eat. So she, at this time, where were you working? Um, I want to say in the Valley, North Hollywood. No, was, what was it? Anyway, I traveled at every job she was traveling. <laughs> we got we got the coffee cake muffins on a fr- on a Saturday. Monday, she flew out. I was on the phone with her. She's like, are you eating my fucking coffee cake? You are out of state. And it would have been here when I got back. This shit is going to go bad. It is fresh it baked not, goods. It's not going to go bad. Then the stuff that was left, she counted. You be stealing. I need to know how many, how much of your shit I can eat. She counts damn up. muffins, y'all. Oh, Auntie oh. Raleen also made me a coffee cake for uh, for my wedding. Like for we the got- wedding. Let me. Uh, y'all don't understand what no, I go through. No, no, no. This Tony, wedding, April domineered this entire thing. Tony everything. had her dad order a pizza. <laughs> and had my Auntie Baker a coffee cake and copped an attitude when people asked her for either one. It's my wedding. <laughs> At the fucking reception, she got a- It's her my Auntie wedding. Food. The entire rest of everything was about you. I was also getting married. So then so. I have <laughs> the caterers come up to me. Is something wrong with the food? Oh my God, we can make something else for- I, I ate they shit too. <laughs> but I, I'm and the crazy uncle one. took some of it home. I'm the crazy one. My people's ghetto. They sure the fuck did take leftovers. They asked for styrofoam. Uh, well, we had paid for it, so it didn't matter. But I, I'm saying it wasn't nothing. I said that to say it wasn't nothing wrong with their food. People liked the wedding food enough to take it home. She wouldn't give nobody a piece of the damn coffee cake, y'all. It was my wedding. I mean, you picked the food, the venue, the music. I didn't the cake. The- no, you picked most of the tears. That pineapple other cake, wasn't nobody going to eat that shit. I wanted <laughs> the tropical pina colada cake. Nobody was getting ready to it eat that. It was fucking delicious with butter, uh, cream cheese frosting. Butter. She oh, wanted yeah. that on the, the big tier. Here she go, be so, and we not having that, we getting chocolate. Well, fuck. She wanted it on the big tier, and who... You're just gonna throw the cake, but no one's gonna eat it. Cause she didn't want that. I could. I didn't have it in any tier, though. You didn't let me get it in any tier. It wasn't necessary. It was, it was disgusting. Thing. And you was trying to get it on the big one. Jay on said, that note, Jay says I love this show. On that note, <laughs> Tony totally didn't care about nothing else. Every time we were playing wedding, she said how much. That's all she wanted to know. When it came to the damn cake, old girl was ready, dressed, I couldn't, at the damn door. I I couldn't. Participate like I, I she was be I wanted shit. one thing to be the lady was bringing the plates. Tony would be like, No, 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 that's all she did the whole I'm sorry, the yeah, whole damn time. Right. I did not do this, but you whole damn time. Everything was about her. She picked dresses, her high maintenance bridesmaids picked Vera Wang dresses. I, my groomsmen had to rent 20 or uh, they was trifling for that. Maybe with three hundred rent three hundred dollar Vera Wang tuxedos to go with the dresses that they picked. Don't like wait everybody. Can you just rewind? Did you say they was tribal? They was so, okay. This is my whole thing. When we went into the bridal shop, the lady told me this is all of Vera Wang. My black ass went the opposite because I can't afford no goddamn Vera Wang. 
So April didn't even look at Vera Wang. You chose the pick. They when, came for you pick. You gave when, them too many options. When the bridesmaids came, I explained them to heifers, this is the expensive shit over here. This is the regular shit. These heifers went for the expensive shit. I don't pay their bills, so hey. I said this is the color. Y'all talk amongst yourself, pick out three, four dresses, and let's start the modeling. My modeling <laughs> ass cousin. Threat two of my brothers like April, whatever you like, we'll get. My cousin, more extra than me, she wanted the Vera Wayne dress because it looked better on her. So they end up getting the Vera Wayne dress. My maid of honor had already got hers altered. My cousin lived in, um, she was in San Francisco at this time. I think either the Bay Area or Cindy. Yeah, I don't know she, she was is. far away, so she had to get her shit mailed. The main person, okay, trifling, the main <laughs> person who wanted this expensive ass dress, I call her. How's everything going? Did you get fitted? Did you? She, oh, can we pick another dress? Because I'm not feeling it. I have to call you so you can tell me that you don't want the dress that your black ass picked out. I wonder if they're going to watch this. And see, see, I don't care if they're going to have this Because Sade was on here. Sade knew what's up. It got so bad. This, I picked two cousins and my best friend, who's been best friend for over 20 years, to just avoid not, don't, I, wanna, I don't want to argue. It's already stressful. When I tell you by the end of the wedding, no one was talking to me, and my two cousins were like, we're not dealing with you. We're dealing with Tony. And I was like, Tony ain't going to tell y'all shit. She going to look at y'all like, y'all crazy. She don't give a fuck about y'all dresses. I'm not getting involved in that. It got to the point, my they talked through my mom to me. I would tell my mom what I wanted to tell them, and she would tell them, and vice versa. To the day of the wedding. The, yeah, and I, I don't did. care. We ended up with $300 tuxedo rentals with the, for these, these guys. I don't care. And April had about three, four shots before the wedding because they were still agitating my nerves, okay? I was damn near tipsy walking down the damn aisle because it was stressful. Don't have bridesmaids, y'all. Just, just be you. You wanted to do it. I do, but I, 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 that mean, I had to pick all these people. I had them spending money. I was going to kick these heifers out. They so lucky. They had I, have a thousand, I had a thousand brothers, and you picked all these... And I'm like, I can't I put told, all of them. I told I my mama, to choose. I said, I don't want them but to be in my wedding. Now she doesn't want brides. You need to tell these heifers, don't show up to my wedding. I don't want them in my wedding. My mama had to talk me out of doing that because y'all know I'm petty. And I told my wedding coordinator that I didn't want them on the premises. That's how deep it got. I told Donna that. That's why Donna gave your ass a mimosa. She gave me several. And yeah, I, I was nervous. The rehearsal dinner, I couldn't. I couldn't even eat. I was super nervous. And my dad thought that was hilarious. He was out of control. He cut up so bad at the rehearsal and the rehearsal dinner. And then I told the DJ specifically, no requests. Nobody gets on the mic. We got this. We got the toast. We got best man and maid of honor speaking. That's it. Nobody. Gets on the mic. Nobody requests any songs. If they want to request some something, you know, I, they can come talk to me. I'll come tell you. But we're not getting loose <coughs> in here. But, um, yeah. So it gets towards the end of the night. Mom's supposed to be his handler, keeping him acting right. She goes. He acts like he's going to go to the bathroom and he gets the mic. And for a reason that is still unbeknownst to me, he says, I'm having a great time. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. And I just want y'all to know if you got the information, ain't no need for the speculation. And I'm like, what? Mom, you were supposed to stop me up from Johnny. <laughs> all I heard was Tony, who gave my dad the goddamn mic? That's all I heard. Oh no, look at that. See, I rooted in misogyny. I'm blaming mom. I'm like, mom, you're supposed to stop this from happening. It's hilarious. <laughs> I love Pop Boys. I don't know why you want to like everybody thought he was supposed to let him black dad shit. But he, he said, I can't believe he said that. And I'm like, DJ, why did you just come back? That's your daddy. Ain't nobody gonna say no to your daddy. Did she think he paid for this shit? <laughs> Um, he was trying to buy an open bar. I'm like, I'm not being responsible not with my for family. people drunk driving. My family was psh, not with my family. All of a sudden, man, I, I he had the cash, and my mom made him walk away. She didn't want to be responsible for anyone when nobody, driving. Nobody, my side family, fucking with the left. So it was a cash bar, but. <laughs>
But people mm. snuck in with liquor and shit. They had bought. Shout out to my cousins that brought the Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> we had bottles of Hennessy. And Eric had a flask. I know I had some whatever that was before. We're going to wrap it up because we have but kept y'all on here. Yeah, this is around two hours. That, that's how long they are. You act like that's a long it time, is. but every I'm single sorry, time y'all. we're on here for we two hours. We be talking to y'all. I mean, I don't think people that they can they can always exit if they don't want to be on here, which they do. People will tell you when they gotta go. But yeah, thank you for coming. April is acting like she has had a drink, even though she has not. I'm tired. But um. Yeah, so if you like this content, you want to support this content, subscribe to the Patreon. You can do it for as little as $5 a month, and there's some other tiers where you get a couple of other things. Um, we'll be out with the schedule of events for yeah. next More month. writing coming. Be a little different because uh, it's October and be celebrating my birthday. So coming. some things may look a little different, but we'll have, you know, the events. Oh, and we're going to – it's not a surprise for you. We're all going to have, like, a Zoom happy – party thing to sing happy birthday to Tony and we'll have cupcakes and that shits. is a surprise to me. I did not know. Well, that. I was gonna tell you because I get the black ass here because I don't have a lot about that. So. <laughs> we're doing that. So we're having cupcakes apparently. The but end yeah. of the month. I don't know if it's gonna be like Halloween themed because that's when we'll be No. If this fine. is for my birthday it should absolutely not be Halloween themed. We're doing it on the thirty first I think and we'll be singing happy birthday and have some drinks and shit. But yeah. yeah. We love y'all. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Dr. J. Thanks, as always, Dr. J. Have a good All Thank right, you have a good one. See you later. Bye. Ooh. All right. Oh, uh, Jay says another great show. We'll love see y'all later. Y'all have a good rest of your day and your weekend, and we will catch up with y'all next month. Hot hell.